is you need to be connected, innovative and global. So how can academia take on the responsibility to prepare their students? And how can the industry connect to those young, innovative minds? I'm Maya from the Sugar Network and I'm here today in San Francisco at the Broadway Studios because we are hosting the Sugar Expo. Sugar roots back to the 80s, 90s basically. There was a course out of Stanford and we are kind of spin-off out of this class. We were developing constantly as we grew from four or five universities now to 25. We are really global. We have events on all the continents except Africa. This is a huge plus, I think, and a big differentiating factor to many other programs. As a sugar chairman, I would differentiate three different values. So one, the students, they get the possibility to collaborate internationally. So they solve something that's needed by humanity, but also by the corporates. Then secondly, the corporates. So they gave us challenges that they find very tricky to solve. We helped them to solve it in a nine months period, basically. And then thirdly, I would think about the universities itself. The universities benefit of the program because they can establish international collaborations with players on all continents. And this is helping them to raise their profile and to offer better education to their own students locally. Being in the Sugar Network has stepped away from being in a class, reading articles and making sense of that. Instead of that, I was interacting with a company who gave me and my team a real life challenge that they actually have. And then using the design thinking method, I had to step out of my comfort zone and try to then think like a designer and trying to innovate for the company. As of now, I met friends from India, from Japan, from Germany, and I think these are the kind of contacts I will be able to carry on forever after the course. In the network, you get to work with a, with a company and most of the time with a team that's not located in the same place. You don't work with a co-located team, so you have to overcome all the issues that come with working with someone that's far away, but you still need to make it work. And that really prepares you for what comes afterwards, which is life after studies, pretty much. <laughs> as well, let's say the value that we actually gained from this cooperation was first of all to have a, a deeper and a different perspective of how design thinking is taught and applied in academia. Sometimes we're so into our business and to our methodologies, into our way of working with innovation that we want also to have another view and we really believe that we should be close to academia, yeah. close to talents and fresh minds to also learn better about innovation methodologies and more concrete about human-centered design. The advice that I would give to the corporate partners, they need to have a very well-defined challenge before they start. And the second one is to be in really close uh, cooperation with the students. Be there, support them, sometimes even push them to go a little bit further. I think it's really crucial. Our world is dynamic and complex. The problem is getting more wicked and ill-defined. To solve them, one person won't be enough to tackle the complexity. It requires more than one perspective. Now you just saw what the ingredients are for the perfect sugar cocktail. If you're interested in global innovation, get in contact with us today to see how you, as a corporate partner or university, can be part of. Be sugar.